live. That is what I'm doing. All right, give me a second, everybody, to make sure everything is set up just right. Awesome. Hoggers. Welcome back, guys, to, um... Turn this down a little bit. Welcome back to Valhalla. We are here to have a good time, chill time. We'll probably play for like an hour, maybe two, and then I'll do a little bit of maybe an hour or less so of like the just me talking again, assuming that's what everyone's down for. Uh, as usual, I have some alcoholic beverages with me. This is Rhymageddon. I've already drank quite a bit of it. Um, not tonight, but in the past. It was something I received for my 21st birthday. So over a year and a half ago, but I've been sipping on it lightly because it's a very nice whiskey. But tonight, no holds barred. I probably won't drink all that. We'll see if I do. But uh, yeah, strap yourselves in. Um, I hope you guys have a snack and a drink and get comfortable. And let's play some Valhalla. All right, so let's go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Mm. Wah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the cap. Wait. You regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, <laughs> this helmet's comfortable and cool. And comfortable and cool and, and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was- Gah! Don't run! You have work to do! I'm not going back to Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Welcome, Tan! I see you in the chat there! Are you all set? Yep. All right. And now we set up our jukebox, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I still don't know which songs are which because you can't listen before putting them on. Oh wait, no you can, you just have to cover it. Good starter one. I okay, probably shouldn't do this for all of them. It's going to take too long. I'll just put on some random ones. They're all good. This is an excellent soundtrack. There's no worries of a bad song. There's just ones that I like better than others, but I can't remember which are which. So with that uh, out of the way, time to mix drinks and change lives. Cheers to that, Jill. Hey, Brad, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says... Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Uh, the usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. That'd be a big beer, ladies and gentlemen. We don't forget. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's mixed. Take your big beer, Mr. Donovan. Don't forget me, says Whiteguard. Welcome, Whiteguard, to the stream! Ooh. Here you go! Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. 
And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. Uh, how was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of honkers helped. We've come a long way in the Department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilum then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm? Hey, you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Welcome, hello, Hexic. Welcome, welcome. Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans, and, everything's mostly the, and everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck, and I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like you suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <coughs> sure, on it. You want some Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, alright. Alright, Mars Blast is six, bro. Does he want it big, though? Or is it already big because it's over ten? Six... One powder delta, four flanner guide, and two carmatrine. Brandon Hamilton says, This dude is my favorite so far, the based businessman. Yeah, Mr. Donovan's really funny. Here. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. I. Right. Hey, kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs and chirp, Jesus Christ. Racial slurs and what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. I excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. They'll make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. 
A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forests and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. We live in a society, says Hamilton. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a god -do gosh darn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? Oh, I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that... Haha! -ha. Ah! Acid reflux whiskey! Oh, I died a little bit there. The fact that... <laughs> I have to recover. Give me a minute. <laughs> The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday! One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help, too. Um, I need bitter. How much alcohol does a... <laughs> Pumping this shit full of karma train. Alright. Aged. And then mixed. How about a gut punch, Mr. Donovan? Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, Joel... John Guillermo Hirohito. I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So, uh, I don't know, I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock-block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. Okay, Donovan. <laughs> what, if, what if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Hmm. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Ah, see? That'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know! I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column, it's shit anyway. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper... What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, th don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. Where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. 
Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. You didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? Uh, Hamilton said something, but it was redacted. It said possibly a spoiler. There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible. And he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jam or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo model module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. Uh. Uh. <coughs> you can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we Lilims see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? <clears throat> Nothing important. Uh, what are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Let's see, that is five aldehyde, my friends. Five Bronson extract. And two powder delta, three flanner guide, and three carmatrine. Classy. Aged. Mixed. One piano woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? gil has been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know? Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah! About your boss! Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Ha! Ah. Give me a minute. Let me have some Pringles.
<sighs> oh! Yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is uh, problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? If you guys don't remember from last week, there was a customer that came in and talked about that. Mm. Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah! One day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the, do the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. <laughs> Hexic says, I wonder what the glass bottle was used for. Uh, you don't need to know that, buddy. <clears throat> yep. I seem to attract that kind of person for some reason. What kind of people? No, buddy. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming up. That's six aldehyde. On the rocks and blended. So how y'all doing tonight? Y'all cozy? You got your drinks and your snacks and whatnot? Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all! Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stopped looking underage, I'd lose my- ooh, yikes. Lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if, with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Wait, I need to give him a different voice. That's Donovan's voice. Good evening, Gil. That'll do. Uh, Hexic says, I'm sitting in the dark doing human things, of course. Ah, well, hello, Hexic. Uh, enjoy doing human things. Welcome to... <clears throat> Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Uh, hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm at the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Oh, before serving. Right. One big sunshine cloud and then one gut punch. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Load this up to the brim with Karma Train. Next, Gut Punch. Oh, another optional Karma Train. Let's get them wasted. Oh wait, I forgot to age it. Uh, aged. Wait, no. Age. Five, one. Okay. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that, DF that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? <coughs> yes. Maybe I should be making this an 18 plus stream, I realize. <clears throat> That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going, I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? Ha! Sorry, ha! <coughs> wow. Alcohol always burns my throat. Mm. Sorry. I'm streaming through when we normally have dinner, so I got a little snack. She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil! I need your girly hands for a second, here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Ah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Sorry, something whizzed by my head at alarming speeds. <clears throat> Probably a fly or something. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast, Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Blended. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. <laughs> Cheers to that, buddy. So you haven't been to a war. 
not to an official one at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around, but I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. Uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. I'd not to mind it if you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. <laughs> you should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break! All right. Tumor Jamie, <laughs> says Brandon Hamilton. Valhalla, Superbound Games. Alright. So, while we're at the halfway point, I would like to ask the group, would you guys like to hear a short, funny anecdote, or would you rather I keep reading? I'll give it another 10 seconds, and if no one responds, I will just, um, uh, continue. All right. White guard says do it. Just a short story. Um, so, I'm taking a marketing class right now. I'm finishing up my degree, my business degree in cybersecurity. And, um, throughout the class, uh, we've had to work towards writing this huge paper that's due... Uh, midnight on Sunday that I really got to get started on. I have all the basic things put up. But basically, we had to, as a marketer, talk about a product we wanted to market. So I chose something that I actually had been working on. It's something that probably won't get released. A lot of people have dropped it, and I haven't worked on it in a couple of years. But basically, it's an Otome dating sim, so like a dating sim targeted towards uh, women where like you choose different guys you can date. And... Um, the gimmick is that, uh, aside from being in a Western setting, all the um, all the guys are like caricatures of my real life friends, and I had them help me work on some of the writing and got their approval, and I got some art done. Like a funny thing. What I didn't realize is that my marketing professor, who was like an older gentleman, uh, obviously wouldn't know what the fuck a dating sim is or those kind of games. <laughs> He's asking me like, I'm unfamiliar with some of these terms. What is a dating sim or a visual novel? What do you mean by route? And just like the more and more, it's so embarrassing. I'm like, oh God, why did I pick this? This is the most cringe thing I could have picked. Because in context, it's a funny sort of parody kind of cool thing. But like trying to explain those terms to people, like it's, it's a game for people who want to pretend they're in virtual relationships. Oh, it's so cringy. And uh, it was just really funny. And I was going to talk about it on the podcast episode, but I totally forgot because I got distracted. But uh, there's a short little anecdote that uh, I was thinking about because I got to write that soon. But uh, yeah, I strongly wish I had just picked a fictional project instead. Uh, all right, back to the game. It's now safe to keep playing. Ah, <coughs> hang on. Why am I doing this to myself? It burns my throat. This is the last time I rhyme again. There's not much left. That's sad. I brought Fireball and 
my vodka too, just in case. But hmm. it's like those classic PowerPoint presentation brony things. <laughs> yeah, Brent. Exactly, Hamilton. Bosh well, should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Um. Let's put some new things on. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right uh, I don't know if the, uh, yes, it's open. Great. Voice undecided till I see them. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? <laughs> nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Girly and bitter. That'd be a sunshine, right? Yeah. And let's just put... Let's put no karma train. Because she doesn't seem like she would do well with alcohol. Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kira, I'm Kira Miki. Oh god, the fucking idol ah. thing. So should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira M Miki. No, 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 no! Put more spirit into it. Kira M Miki. Almost there! Kira! Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! <laughs> That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! <laughs> I can't do four voices simultaneously. Miki! Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! And don't you ever forget it! <laughs> what the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you! It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the little one that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. <laughs> Red. Ow. Mm. Heartburn. Oh, man. Hamilton says, what the fuck is the stream now? LMAO, Kira Miki. Yeah, I know, right? And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer's always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Hmm. Uh, I see. <clears throat> Hang on. How big is the concert? 
We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it! Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Ooh, I like that! Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Wonder if she means alcohol-free or something else. Hold on. Let me use my internet hacker skills. What to give Ki Kira Miki when she asks for something soft? Elite gamer strats. Oh, apparently it's a thing I didn't buy yet because I'm dumb. Oh wait, there we go. Aha! Big brain! Soft, it's right there! Uh, <laughs> do I do I pump it full of alcohol or not? I'll leave it to you guys. Should we get Kiramiki drunk or should we leave her be? Let her do her concert. Oh, Joe May says give Blue Fairy. Thank you, Joe May. What do you guys think? Do we pump this full of alcohol? Yes or no? <coughs> hey, wait your answers, audience. White Guard says yes. Bom, 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 get her drunk as shit. There we go. This is all aged and mixed. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks! Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire. That kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Uh, excuse me. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm, hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, uh... Sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl? Oh, uh, for Jill, then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kira Miki! Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has had their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. Oh my god, <laughs> she fails to see the problem? Brandon Hamilton says, I have no opinion. White Guard says, given the dark side, the police will be here shortly. You are irresponsible. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. 
No, wait, it isn't! Yeah, you get me, Jill! Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick! I always make concerts that go from night till dawn! In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song! I'd be depressed if they ask for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. Nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks! Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. I'm not gonna let her sober up, guys. I'm giving her... I'm giving her a sunshine cloud, and I'm filling it with alcohol. Bum, 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 Never should have let me be the bartender. Killer one gamer one says, yeah, sounds normal. Sunshine cloud. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It can be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice! Thanks! Hey, Jill. Have you ever lost your identity? I've lost my ID card a couple of times, yeah? No, I mean... Your identity. Forgotten who you are. What's with the change in expression? No, not really. I did. Eh? Kira Miki is just an artist name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know? But I gained so much satisfaction from the concerts that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. How so? I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. Who was I before I became Kira Miki? What did I like? Where does Kira Miki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. Sounds rough. What drove you to such a decision? True, this concert is going to make them... <laughs> you are e <laughs> the most expensive drink that meets these criteria. Sunshine Clowns, says Joe May. Ayo! I did good then. Uh, <laughs> it will be a heck of a concert. This is going to make the news. I'm sure one of her doctors will give her a ride home. You guys are funny. The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. Uh, how? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out of the sewers every full moon. You don't know what will await you every morning. You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. Jesus. I mean, true, but fuck. People need something to cling to. Many. I'm that thing. All right. I'm officially... Out of Rhymageddon, guys. None left in the bottle. My fancy whiskey's all gone. The question I have now is, do I turn to vodka, or do I turn to the infinitely shoddier Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey? Let me know in the chat. During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. Uh, excuse me. This is Perfect Blue, the character. Oh, speaking of Perfect Blue, obviously not that one. Too many miners on the server, but we should do a movie night sometime. Is that legal? I don't know if that's legal. Maybe never mind on that if that's not legal. But that'd be fun. Damn. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up, that will make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from the stage, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below while they're up. 
If forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles, so be it! I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I help them. I am the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I am the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I am the northern light that will show you your dreams. I am Kira Miki. And don't you ever forget that. Fan club to me! We ride to the stadium! Wow. Uh, Cinnamon Cringe Vodka Time says Hamilton. I think if you're on the streaming service, it's cool. I do it on the streaming service. I'll Google it for this, for this stream. Good, good, good. I wouldn't do it on stream. It would be like in the server sometime. We're having some vodka boys and girls and whatever else, whoever else is here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Vodka time. Maybe I poured too much. Who knows? Uh oh. <laughs> Alcohol. Wow. She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, give me a minute. Let me get a snack around in here. Alrighty. We're playing Valhalla. That's a game that we are playing. Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston, deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk, then? She was drunk, and she was a very peculiar drunk. Figures. Still quite the motivational performer, though. No doubt. Boss, we're done! Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Uh, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Your... Huh? That's what they called me during my time with the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads! Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Oh, I see. I should take you to a rest. By the way, Dana is a girl. I'm just doing a deep voice. I can't really do a deep girl voice. It's like a little bit outside my range, so I'm just doing a deep voice because she's like a pretty baller, pretty tough, pretty tough gal. I do the same thing with Ruth in Aetheral Space. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. You'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Uh. Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Another day of work done, another $4,000, $2,000 made. $2,252 made. A bada bing bada boy. Your membership to Shining Finger will automatically be known on the 17th. Make sure you have at least 800 by then. Jill will summon your love as a drug by the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. Your love is a drug, and ba 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 love is a drug. Love is a drug. I don't want to get that, but I need money. For various crap. Huh. How do I buy the nano camo? Nano camo, I forgot how to do that. Where's the nano camo? Where's the nano camo? There should be a way to change the colors of the wall. I don't remember. Not here. Alright, let's read the, the things in the, the phone. 
Yeah, it seems to be legal to stream stuff like Netflix to Discord. Good call. Good. Thank you for looking that up, Brandon. Yeah, I'll probably avoid that then. I know some servers do it. I guess they were doing it illegally. That's a shame. Because I would, uh, would love to do a movie night, but I don't want to get in trouble. So. Well, dangerous. I'm dangerous. I'm going to make it constant three. In the last thread, Hanan hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being a guy in Danger You? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off, dudes in Danger You. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070X and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. <sighs> anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official Danger You meetup. Danger You meetup. Like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next thread I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this, so no more shit posting. <laughs> so I guess this is like 4chan if 4chan was mostly women instead of mostly dudes. That's kind of funny. I like that. Minky Concert 4. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed! Did that one anon left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the Great Revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes! Y yeah Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. K -k kiss Of course! Just try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I... I will think about it. The thread is now closed. Alice Rab... Thread 2. Uh oh Vodka time! Oh! Huh. Pringle time. Pringle, 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 dingle, dingle, you know? <laughs> 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 mm. Maybe if we do a classic 3, 2, 1, play the movie, says Hamilton. Yeah, that's what, like, Tan and I do to keep it legal. I guess we could just do that. I don't know. Well, Tan and I usually either watch together YouTube, and, like, YouTube, it doesn't matter, or we do Crunchyroll, and I gave him my Crunchyroll account so we can watch an animated guy. But we don't do that that much anymore. We used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V, and we stop. And recently we started watching ReZero again together. That only comes out once a week though. I don't know. Uh, what was I doing again? I was Rabbit Thread 2 Electric Boogaloo. Mm -hmm. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? <laughs> oh yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. Hang on. December 17th will come the second retribution. Birthday is coming. That font. Oh boy. Spooky font. It's happening. Ha <laughs> ha. Time for despair. Oh shit. Fuck. That feeling when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, cybercrime unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why you got so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin fervor. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. <laughs> funny funny joke funny alice funny haha <laughs> uh well augmented eye baby interview Gloria and light Gloria light and her request for a tina award malena smithy the augmented eye in today's interview segment we said with tino award nominee gloria light it's an honor to be here with you it's my pleasure. Why did they write the fucking stammering in the text? That's rude. Tell us everything. What was your content blocked in your region? Kiramiki confirmed as the best pop star in history by Donovan Dawson. Oh, that's the, the guy who wrote this. 
Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything. And I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco Overlord. Eo San Francisco attacked by... Rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved. Kimberly Lavalle. A powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo SF San Francisco sorry, for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implementing these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. <laughs> Stupid idiot governor mayor guy. Stupid dum dum. Stupid dum dum. Wow. Ah, give me a minute, guys. <laughs> I don't usually get drunk. The rhyme again with some strong stuff. Give me a minute, I'm enjoying this. I never get to be this way. <laughs> Cause you guys have seen me take the vodka shots before. I don't get like this. This feels pretty good. <laughs> Darn out time, baby. Tanhoney's not around to stop me. Tanhoney. Not around to stop me, I'm gonna drink vodka as much as I want. Ba ba boy, ba ba bum bum bum. Ha 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 <laughs> and then we have something in the bottom right. Is that new? I don't. I think it is. It looks interesting. Let me get a Pringle before we read this. Pringle or three. You know, before we continue, I want to thank Hamilton again. He's a really funny guy. I really enjoy hearing from him in the server. And he went the extra mile. He really insisted to do these thumbnails for free, even though I worry about stuff and I want to pay people and respect them. It's just really cool of him. So I hope you all give him some love in the Discord or the chat or whatever. And also, for those of you tuning in and listening to me be an idiot on camera, thank you guys. You're all freaking epic. Oh, man. And tomorrow... A podcast episode? Alright. It might start off a little awkward. Well, it's a good episode, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and I sincerely hope you guys enjoy it. Same with the Amoris on Sunday. And, you know, we've been cranking out the hours, we've been working hard, and you guys have been the best, and you're just a good audience, and we're really thankful for you. And I'm really excited for that shit post video with Among Us stuff uh, as well. Oh, sorry, White Card says, I missed it. Who does the thumbnails? So usually... Up till now, I have done the thumbnails. Uh, save for Aetheral Space, and um, which Tan does. But for this stream, and hopefully onwards, if he's still willing to, Hamilton. I, I don't know any other accounts he goes by. He's Brandon Hamilton in the chat. He's Hamilton on the server. Um, he did this one, and I think he's going to help me out in the future. And I really like it. It's great. It's adorable. It's, a, it's our first ever custom thumbnail that isn't just me taking like game art or tan taking a very simple thing and putting it on like a first real channel specific thumbnail and it makes me so happy you have no idea and i just i just love this audience so much and i love this channel and i really want to grow with you guys and make this a reality especially because um i don't know how things are going to go because in the next few months if everything goes according to plan i'm going to be moving into an apartment with two of my friends. Friends I met on the internet. Well, uh, partially. They're a friend of my, friends of my real life friend. And that's crazy. Going to a different state for the first time. With people I haven't met in person yet. 
but I'm really excited, and I don't know how it's gonna work with the channel, but I, I just want everything to go well, and I don't know, there's a lot of things happening in my life, and for once, I feel like there's a future, and you guys are part of that, so just like, you guys are awesome, okay? <laughs> this isn't all just drunkenness, this is like genuine happiness. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we still have shit to read, sorry, I've been stalling. Uh, Kira Miki blog, what I do to relax, my Miki. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails, oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination, and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. <laughs> Joke's on fucking you. I own you. You got so drunk, idiot. That's all for today. See ya. Brandon Hamilton says, we are all happy for you, Darna. Hey, this is for you guys, kings and queens. All right. Doki Doki. Doki Doki. Not literature club, just Doki Doki. Love. That's what this is all about. We're almost at 700 subscribers after a year. You know how crazy that is? 700 subscribers is insane. I didn't know if anyone would ever give us the time of day. You guys are wonderful. I should get moving. I'm, I'm gonna go on forever. Okay, I need more alcohol. <laughs> That's what I need! You know what I'm saying, guys? We have. Ah, <laughs> Dome Concert by Miki. Hi everyone! Are you ready for the Dome Concert? I sure am! I perform at a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you! Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all of your favorite songs, so please be excited! Just one uh, little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Miki. Thanks, GC. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Miki, 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 Miki. Ooh, 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 ooh. Save? Wait. Oh, shit. I saved over my original save file. That was the 10 days. I didn't even realize. Oh, frick, I'm a drunk idiot. Oh, guys, I flubbed it. I freaking flubbed it. Oh, whatever. It's not like I was playing that again. The last time I played it was 2016. <laughs> Still, though, I flubbed it. I flubbed it, bros. I flubbed it. Like flubber. I need more alcohol. So there's a game, by the way, I've been playing. It's called Loop Hero. You guys should play it. It's an idle game, but there's so much shit going on that you're interacting with that's not really an idle game. Like, you don't leave it in the background, like, on your, like, phone idle games and shit. It's called Loop Hero. It's by Devolver Digital. They're published by Devolver Digital, anyway. I don't know if they're a publisher or a studio. I forget. And, um, it's kind of hard to explain. You just gotta play it. It's on sale right now for a, for a little bit. It's like 15 or 20% off. Or maybe that ended. I don't know. But it's hyper addicting. I'm thinking about playing it on stream once you guys get sick of Valhalla stuff. It's really, really fun. Uh, basically, a lich destroyed the world and all the memories and all of everything. And, um, and, um, like, you go around in a loop, and as you fight monsters, you get equipment, and you get, like, shit that you can put on the map, and you fill up the map, and you, like, build the world, and it's pretty cool. Genuinely pretty cool. Uh, very fun, very addicting. You can play that shit for hours on end and forget about it if you're not careful. I might do it on a stream. It's a perfect game for, like, talking about whatever bullshit comes into your head. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay. I should stop stalling. I'm gonna pull whoever's still here. What do you guys want? Should I start another day of Valhalla, which will be in about another 40 to 60 minutes, or should I go into the talking, just to me talking segment, and then end it there? I will ask for your guys' opinion. I want to know what you guys are down for. I'm good either way. I'm insane in the membrane. I'm absolutely unhinged. Mm. Right. There's a delay, so if I don't get an answer 30 seconds from now, I will um just keep playing. I'll do one more day probably. Because the days are pretty long. And voice acting and all. Like when you're reading it, it goes by like that. But when you have to read it out loud and act it, it's a lot more time and energy. Especially if we have Donovan again. I don't remember who's in day four. Or day three rather. But Donovan's voice kills my throat, but I love it. It's a good voice, Jameson. Haha, that might be a good idea, says White Guard. Not entirely sure what you're referring to. Loop Hero, maybe? Maybe. Loop Hero's a fun game. More alcohol. Oh, it's Darnell going crazy. You'll never see Tan Honey doing this. Cause he's a good boy, he's responsible. He's got a life, you know. Except for when he wrote a mug of SCP. That was kind of cringe, bro, but it went for me. Ugh. Ugh. What Hamilton suggested. Maybe just talking. You're awfully buzzed, said Hamilton. Oh, I completely missed that. Good call, white guard. Thank you. Okay, let's save it. Save the game. <laughs> you ever saved a game? Oh, frick, I'm so... <laughs> I'm filling up my save spots like a freaking dingleberry. <laughs> How do I leave the game again? Exit. Go back to title screen. I swear I don't normally get like this, because usually when I drink, it takes a while for me to get even tipsy. But I've been but the rhyme again is pretty heavy if I recall correctly, or maybe it's placebo, I don't know. No, that's pretty heavy. It's like 46% alcohol by volume. I drank a little under half the bottle, and then I had some vodka. In a short period of time. Usually I'm a lot smarter. For every cup of alcohol I have or every shot, I have a drink of water. I'm a lot slower with it. But tonight I just kind of went cuckoo crazy boys. Cuckoo crazy boys. So you're right. Let's quit so I can ex uh, fully experience the game at a later date. Oh god, Tanho is going to hate me when the stream goes up, isn't he? He's going to be like, Darnell, you freaking idiot head. You ruined the, the S discovering SCP legacy. And I'm going to go, sorry, Tan. I didn't mean to. This is just an accident. Go to properties. Go to vault device. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm on the camera, guys. What's poppin'? I need a haircut really bad. <laughs> I can see myself. I'm there on the camera. That's me. That's my dopey little face. I shaved, you know, no more neck beard. Good here. Probably saw, um, I don't know if you guys saw the picture I posted the other day of me at work. Work is usually pretty insane, but for once we had a calm day, a very rare calm day, and I was just chilling with all the dogs. Time. But I hadn't shaved yet, so I had a bit of a neck. But you know, that's, that's just how it be sometimes. Darnell life, you know what I'm saying? That Darnell life. <laughs> So, how are you guys doing tonight? Any questions? Anything you guys want to talk about in particular? I'm open, you know. I love this audience. I love you guys. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm here. I'm here. It's me, Darnell. That's the guy. You know? The other half of Discovering SCP? That's me. <laughs>
Life's like a box of chocolates. Sometimes you just just be in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying shit. <laughs> Hamilton says just watching you is entertaining at the moment. Uh oh, am I gonna cringe at this tomorrow? Am I being cringe, bro? <laughs> Uh, so I don't know the details of what Tana's planned, but I'm really excited about all you guys posting Among Us stuff. I don't want too many things from the same person. I want everyone to get in. But like that interspliced with some criticisms, I think is going to be really funny. I don't know if we're going to put Blue Sky over it or if Tan's going to have me do the, or if he's just going to loop the humming thing I did when I was trying to find the song Blue Sky. But either way, when that shit post comes out, it's going to be really funny. Uh, in terms of the, uh, continuing crystal bird i haven't heard from him back about that and i don't know if he just forgot to talk to me about it, but i'm still figuring out if we're going to continue that um white guard says you will have a good laugh tomorrow haha -ha. brandon hamilton says yes completely cringe but it's harmless i've always been cringe that's the secret i'm cringe but i well i used to not care i care a little bit more maybe not when i'm under the influence but, you know, as all good scholars say, if you truly are passionate about something, you have to be a little bit... Like the whole thing I had with my professor about the dating sim otome game thingy. Da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Like, it's a little cringe to talk to him, but it was something I was genuinely interested in. And it's something I may still do in the future, but I wouldn't hold your breath on it. We didn't even start on our social media account about it, but, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I have all these passions, all these ideas. I want to live creatively, but that's not realistic. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of learning. Um, Hellameo, Darnell is like Hulk. That's his secret. You always cringe. I'm sad to hear you think I'm always cringe, Hamilton. I genuinely enjoy your company. But you know what? That's okay if you think I'm cringe. You know, that's not what it's about. It's all about... As long as you guys are entertained and having a good time, then we've done our job. Even if I have to become the butt of the joke or whatever. You know? Um, I'm not as prolific of an author as Tan. I like to write a lot. Um, I don't want to say I'm at the same skill level as him. He has much more experience publishing things. He's probably written way more because he's a freaking insane person when it, when it comes to writing. But I have written quite a bit. I like to think I'm a decent writer and I have decent crit. Um... One thing lately is Tan's been pumping out those SCPs non freaking stop. He's entered his season. And he keeps asking me to help him crit. And sometimes I'm like, sure. But then he sends me, he's like, oh, this is like a three to 4,000 word SCP. You got time? I'm like, no, I have shit to do, you know? And that's fine, you know? I'm not angry at him. He gets help elsewhere. But um, he goes really insane on it. So he probably has a little more experience than me. But I'm a writer too, you know? But I usually stick to roleplay stuff or private stuff. I don't want to become an author. I would love to do YouTube for a living. I would love to do more creative stuff. I enjoy writing. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy putting my soul out there rather than sitting in a cubicle and fucking tapping away doing accounting or cybersecurity. But, you know, that's what I'm getting my degree in because the real world isn't that simple. And, you know, I'm not all like, oh, blah, 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 real world evil, whatever. You know, that's the society needs it all to function. But I do hope that someday in my dreams that I will be able to fully go into this creative thing whether it's youtube or whatever and really make things because that's what makes me happy um hamilton says or hamilton says no i'm playing around dude me like darnell uh oh me like hamilton white guard says i can never keep up with tan during his release streaks yeah so that was the thing i have mentioned this on the podcast before but aside from dragon snails most of the SCPs i read were was like when I used to know Tan, he would post them. I didn't realize he was a big deal on the wiki or how big the wiki was. And maybe it was smaller back then. That was like 2016, 2017. I don't know. But he would often post things. And I would read them a lot because he's my friend. But I wouldn't read them all because when he got in a streak, he fucking got in a streak. You know what I mean? Like it was insane. And it was like, I can't fucking read all these. I don't have all day, you know? Um, but at the same time, he does them in doses. He has like three weeks, I'd, I'd say three to six weeks where he'll go, bah, 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 and then he'll just go silent for a while. I think about the podcast, he's been silent for months on end, and now he's pumping them out. Like, he just gets that fever. And that's cool. And he writes most of his SCPs within the span of a day or two. 
but he puts the effort in. He gets them critted, you know. He's not sloppy about it, overly sloppy anyways. He, he, he really does want to put out quality work. And that's why I was a bit sad about Among Us Discord, because honestly, if you hate it, it's fine, because the article itself is an average article. It's not really great. It's not his best work, but it's not totally meme and shit. Uh, if you hate it and downvote it, honestly, fair opinion. I have my own reasons to be mad about it that I talk about in the podcast tomorrow that you'll hear at the, towards the beginning. But I, I'm really sad when people are like, oh, he's just doing that for popularity because he did it on a dare. He never really does. He never really considers popularity or upvotes when he writes. I can confirm this as a very close friend of his. Um, he always just writes what he wants to write. And in this case, it was partially a dare. It wasn't like some deep inspiration. But still, he wasn't like, oh, I can't wait to get a billion upvotes. He just wrote it. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's really sad to me. Like, if you hate it, if you think it's bad, that's totally fair. But when people are like, you just use Among Us because you want free popularity, you want free upvotes, that makes me sad. Because he's been a bro about how he takes it. And I don't want to make too many comments or, like, you know, harp on anyone. But it makes me sad when people are like, you're just doing this for popularity. Because that truly is not a concern for him. And that goes to show, partially, remember I told you, I didn't realize how big of a deal he was. He never brought it up in the four or five years I knew him. I never realized till I did this podcast with him. And people were like, Tanhoney, you're a big deal. And then I was like, oh shit. Like, he's never been, like, cocky about it. He's always just been himself. Um, so it makes me sad. But, again, if you hate Among Us SCP, that's totally reasonable. I just hate when people think he does things because it's, like, popular or he wants upvotes. Because he's never cared about that. He just loves to write. Yeah, like Hamilton said, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's just a fine article. Honestly, that's how I would define it. It's okay. I genuinely like the other thing he's done more recently, Witch of Words. I helped edit that. Well, helped. I barely. I read it, gave some opinions, gave a few minor grammar critiques. He did most of the work. But The Witch of Words is genuinely good. Uh, I like it. I told him he should have gone further with it, but I understand why he stopped where he did. Because he mentioned maybe doing Tales later. I don't know if he will or will, won't. Um, I, I was like, if you go further, you could fuck it up and ruin the flow. But if you do it right, it could be a truly viral, really good one. But he was like, I'm going to leave it how it is for now. But Witch of Words was really good. He did another one recently I didn't read because it was too long this morning. He asked me to credit it. I was like, I don't have time. He had Anomalous and Cactus Critted, I think. And I, I heard that one's pretty good. Like, he, it's not like he really cares about popularity. He's just putting stuff out he wants to write. Um, White Guard says, You should check this page out. The chart on here sh there shows this page is created in upvotes over the years. I have no clue what page you're referring to. If you posted one, maybe YouTube removed it because it was a link. Because uh, I don't see any link or page mentioned. Um, but yeah, are there, there are limits to what I can see because of our ban. But Tanhoney, to an extent, sometimes asks me to crit his new shit because he doesn't intend me to read it. Like, there was a thing he wrote a, a couple, a while back that was like, it mentioned me uh, as a junior researcher. It was like a some sort of notepad that like wrote Chuny shit that I thought was really funny. That was a pretty jokey one that wasn't a J. And I like that. I mean, not just because I was in it. It was cute. Tanhoney's page for the wiki. I've looked it over. I don't, I haven't read all of his SCPs, but no way. He's written a lot. And I'm not that invested in the wiki, you know? Like, it's fun. I love doing it for the podcast. There's some good articles, but I'm not, like... Like, the the whole ban on me reading new stuff has not been a hindrance in my life. Like I said, I genuinely didn't really give a shit about the wiki. I didn't grow up with it as a kid, like a lot of people did. So it's not, like, something that's a big deal for me. It's just, like, whatever. If something cool's on, something cool's the high C. But I'm not like, oh, darn it, I can't read any SCPs because of the podcast. Like, I don't care that much. I've, I've genu generally, like, scrolled through this page, but I haven't looked at all the articles. I sent to message. Can you not see the second one, too? Uh, no, I cannot. I genuinely cannot. YouTube probably filtered. I think YouTube filters links uh, just for safety reasons because there was not a second message. At least not for me. Um, but, yeah. Tan's a cool guy. I was very... Sad about Among Us for another reason, because he kind of became the protagonist or antagonist of the internet for a while. He stopped responding to my messages because he was dealing with so many people. And whenever I did get a hold of him, he was always like typing away to someone, which was kind of sad. But now that it's died down a little, he's back to normal. But I didn't like that very much. But you know what? Fair enough, because the whole internet was deciding that they hated or loved him. And that was kind of obnoxious, in my opinion. 
Like, if you hate Among Us SCP, you have every reason to. But, like, people that were, you know, commenting on him, that was fucked up. I didn't like that. As his friend and knowing him as a writer. But I didn't want to say anything. I don't want to, you know, get involved in SCP drama. Because, honestly, I've got enough real-life shit going on. I don't have time to fucking invest every second of my life into whatever the drama of the week is on the wiki. Um, But uh, it made me kind of sad to see so much hate towards him personally getting tossed. Um, but I, I tried to hold back what I wrote on Twitter or whatever to a minimum because I didn't want to start a thing. But it just makes me sad because I know Tanhony as a person, and it was just kind of fucked up. Um, yeah, exactly, Hamilton. And that, honestly, it wasn't even that big of a deal. Tan handled it like a champ. He was fine. It was me that was getting mad on his behalf. I was like, these people fucking suck. <laughs> uh, every time someone would write something like, you just wanted this for popularity, I, I want so bad to go off, but I was like, no, I can't, you know? I don't want to ruin his reputation as his friend. I don't want to mess with our channel. But it made me angry, you know? Because he's genuinely a cool guy. And you know what? I think that's true of a lot of figures, not just Tan. A lot of people, when you just see them typing over the internet, it's easy to be like, oh, this guy sucks. But like when you talk to them in person, they're a lot more chill most of the time. Things just don't translate well over a written medium uh, over the internet. You know what I mean? Like when you get to know people, most people, uh, not everyone, but most people are generally pretty chill. And uh, But things just don't translate well over text. Uh... White Guard says, people said it was a sign of the times or some nonsense. Yeah, exactly. That's whatever. There's always been pop culture bullshit in the wiki. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, this is silly to me. Uh, Brandon says, yeah, the wiki seems to always be in some kind of drama. Speaking of anything coming to the article, speaking of anything coming to the articles requesting being deleted. I don't know what you mean by that latter part, Brandon. But I agree with the drama. I feel like it was funny. I was talking to my friend, and they're like, "Yeah, the the wit the SCP wiki is not as much of a toxic community." And while I wouldn't call it toxic, I was like, "Well, there's drama every fucking week." I feel like every time I log in on Twitter, someone's like, blah, 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 "SCP," and it's just like I don't care about this, you know. Um, White Guard says, mm hmm, they're going to stay, but are now open to rewrite. Our rewrite staff team will be handling the rewrite request. Oh, are you guys talking about the Harmony thing? I don't want to talk about that stuff because I'm not intimately involved with the wiki. I don't want to make statements. I don't want to say anything that would get us in trouble. Um, but just, yeah, I know that was a thing. I would leave that to Tanhony and other SAP people's domains. Forgive me, I don't want to comment on that. I don't want to say some shit, especially when I'm drunk. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to not say anything about that. So please forgive me in that regard, but I'm going to not speak on that for the sake of sanity and safety. Any other questions you guys have? Anything else you want to talk about or ask me or just vibe? Sorry to mean this through the pot, just curious as Brandon. No, you're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I understand. I'm just, I'm just giving my statement. I'm not going to say anything about it. You know, everyone's had their fucking say, and honestly, it feels like old news because, like I said, every fucking week there's something new with the wiki, which is why I don't really bother with it. Um, but it just made me sad as Tan's friend to see all that stuff, and he's been handling it like an absolute champion, and I'm so proud of him, even if he kind of ignored me when it was going on because he was dealing with so many other people, but, you know, I totally understand that. He's got his own life, um, but, like, I was very proud of him. He, he takes it like a champ. I know if that many people got angry at me, I'd probably go off and end up, like, ruining my reputation or whatever, because I'm not the kind of person that takes shit well. I've been practicing, you know? I've gotten way better since when I was younger and I was an idiot, but, like, I used to go off on people if I thought they did me wrong or my friends wrong, so I've grown a lot since then, and Tanoni, honestly, I'm very, very proud of him. And, you know, like I said, it's not like it's an amazing SCP anyway. I don't care if people don't like it. It's like an all right SCP at best I read it. But I hate when people are like, you only did this for popularity. This is the death of the wiki. This is one fucking article. Get over yourselves. I need a haircut so freaking bad. My hair's too long. You know what I mean? It's too long. Any questions you guys have for me, or in general? I guess if you want us to ask questions and stuff, I'll just state the usual. Alright, I'm curious. Hit me up. Anything, yeah. 
It's hard to think of, like, prominent real-life things right now while I'm under the influence, so questions would be helpful. And sorry again, this will probably end up being a shorter stream, just like the last one. You know, I've just been so freaking busy all the time with all my obligations that it's hard to commit to, like, a five- or six-hour stream. It's just difficult. I'm happy to help with the art or whatever you need. Genuinely, Brandon, I appreciate that. I would love to have you continue doing more thumbnail art if I end up picking up different series like Loop Hero or whatever. I just really, aside from the cancellation, whatever bullshit, like I genuinely just don't want to take advantage of anyone. You know, I have a lot of artist friends. I want to be careful. They all have different opinions. Some don't mind doing stuff for friends or for free. Others are like, oh, it's, it's fucked up to have your friend or the person who's a fan of you do an art for you. That's an uh, exploitation. Which is a totally fair way to view it. So I just always want to be careful, you know? I don't want to take advantage of you or anyone. I don't want to do some shit that's wrong. Um, but if you really don't care and you really don't mind, it would be nice to have more custom channel art. Because I was so happy to have a custom art that wasn't like some shitty game art that I made or that some random thing Tan strew up, str strewn up really quickly, like for April Space, where it's a couple of lines. It was really, really cool. I love this thumbnail for the stream uh, and i would love to have you do more in the future but i don't want to exploit you i really truly don't and i want you to be honest with me straightforward i don't want this to be like a, a point of contention um i just always want to be really safe i don't want to abuse any wrong things i just want to get through life a simple man in a simple way Uh, Hamilton says, if you've got stuff planned that you want art for, it's better that I can know now so the product is happy. I mean, I don't know how long you guys want me to keep doing Valhalla, but no matter what, the next thing is probably going to be Loop Hero. So if you want to look into Loop Hero and do an art for that, you definitely can. You aren't LMAO, says Brandon. Don't need to discuss that any further. Fair enough. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick after I finish a little bit more vodka. But I'll be right back. You guys stay tuned. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Uh, 
Okay, this is some stuff. Brandon Hamilton says, if you guys stop playing anyone out for blah, blah, blah. You know what? Oh, man, I don't need to discuss that. I'm free to quit anytime I like. Exactly. Don't worry. Okay, fair enough. White Card says, not really a stream, but I was about to release a new interview. I've been on fire working on these lately. Haha. <laughs> yeah, good on you, White Card. Everybody go check that out. The ones on the wiki, right? Says Hamilton. Or text format, rather. White Card says, indeed, today will be our retired admin and anime lover, Decibels. Anime lover? Get that person in contact with this guy, because I freaking love anime. Well, I kind of more manga these days, but you know, whatever. Anime, manga, culture, same difference. Um, Brandon says, sick. Plugs on, not read it. We'll do, says White Guard. <coughs> Mods asleep, post the muggas. I'm back. Um, I'm here to stay. Live. Um, I stumbled a lot on my trip to and fro the back. Maybe it would be good to close it off. I don't know. I feel bad. Again, it's a shorter stream. I know. But I got more waste than I intended because I took that heavy rhyme again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, do be, I do be fucking up, though, all the time. But you know what? This life. You know what I mean? Life is just a stirring us, you know, managing what, what goes. I'm not giving good advice. Don't take this as Darnell serious. Me being stupid, because I'm fricked up right now. I'm so fricked up, bro. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> I finished all the vodka there. I should probably stop drinking to the night so I can get my life together. You know what I mean? I'll probably be the last I drink. I should probably close this. Close that soon. Brandon Hamilton says, Oh, good. We have things to do to keep us busy. Preach, bro. Yeah, anything you guys want to ask or talk about in particular? Because I'm here. My heart's beating. I'm here. I'll give it about a minute -ish for stuff to come in. Talk about. I'll do a last round of questions, chat, whatever you guys want. Now, when that's done, I'll probably book it before I do some shit or say some shit I regret. You know, just to be safe. Cause I'm I'm a little hungry. I don't want to frick us up too bad. <laughs> Uh, so cringe. I'm so freaking cringe. <laughs> ah, hoo -hoo, hee, hoo -hoo, hee -hee. <laughs> I don't know what you guys have to ask or say. I'm kidding. I'm Kenny Narimasu, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> anything? I don't see anything. I'm gonna give it a couple, I'm gonna give it like 20 more seconds. Oh, Brandon says, Darnell Joker, this is what's keeping us from being on the podcast. A laughing clown. I don't know if that's an insult to me. I can't decipher what you're saying. Darnell Joker, this is what's keeping us from being on the podcast. A laughing clown. Am I the clown? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a clown. I'm just Darnelling around. I'm trying to get you on. I think you're funny, Hamilton. But Tan, well, we already have guests in mind we need to get on first. And besides that, Tan, you know, has his own circumstance. But, um, you know, if we had Boris on the podcast, I don't see any reason why we can't have you on the podcast eventually. But ultimately, it's all up to Tan. He's... I'm simply the one that makes things happen. The Joker laugh. Have a stupid laugh. A girl I had a crush on way back when once said I laughed like a gremlin. That was tough. 
Stop being rude. Sorry, buds. No other closing questions or remarks, though, before I head off, guys. I'm going to give it one last 30 seconds to mend this round. And if there's nothing concrete, I'm going to book it, I think, before, like I said, I make any mistakes. Because you can't really tell what you're doing when you well. And, you know, I don't want to fuck, fuck up in some way. But I, this, this feels good. I don't normally get drunk. It's very different for me. I'm all over the place. My head feels... <laughs> Laughter. Laughter. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be... Probably just never watched this spot. Oof, the heartbreak, says Hamilton. Not sure what you're referring to. I'm not seeing any questions or concrete asks. So I think I'm going to end the stream, guys. Thank you for everyone who's attended or who did attend. Uh, and thank you to anyone who's watching this VOD for some godforsaken reason. This was fun. I had a good time. I got a little more wasted than usual. Um, Apologies. <laughs> apologies, darn I really <laughs> dropped the ball on this one. Hamilton did the thumbnail. Thank him in the Discord if you if you're in there and you got the chance. This has been Darnell Jermaine playing Valhalla. I will put a poll up probably when I'm less wasted tomorrow to see if you guys want more Valhalla or if you want me to move on to Loop Hero or something else or whatever. <laughs> well, I'm hiccuping. Anyway. Good night, everybody. Drink water. Love, love yourselves. Love the ones around you who treat you well. Take care. Good night, and I hope you enjoyed the podcast episode that comes. There was a lot of editing issues. Anomalous was an absolute king and worked really hard at it, so I think there aren't any more problems that are too bad. I wasn't able to review the entire thing because it was really long, and I had already done it once when it was messed up before. But I think it's going to be okay. He did amazing. So shout out to Anomalous. Shout out to our guest, who was a secret until tomorrow. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's good stuff. Anyway, bye! Bye! Bye, 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 bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna fucking cringe so hard in the morning. <laughs>